I am constantly asked how I stay on track with my health and fitness when I'm on the road. Well, in this video, you're gonna come with me to Cabo, Mexico, where I'm co-hosting a mastermind event. I'm gonna walk you through all of the rules that I follow to stay on track with my health when I'm on the road. Let's go. Rule number one, preparation is everything. Before I go on one of these trips, I lay out all of the stuff that I need to control the controllables, if you will. So I've got these sticks for flight. They're venison sticks, high in protein. I've got my morning cocktail stuff, AG1 and element powder. I've got a bag with chocolate protein powder. I've got a bag with creatine and pre-workout. I've got these sleep pouches from Momentus that are great for when you're traveling, especially if there's a time change. And I've got my omega-3s. I also bring a shaker bottle, a new pair of running and workout shoes. These things allow me to control the controllables. It's 15 minutes of preparation before the trip that sets me up for success for the entirety of the time that I'm away. That's rule number one. Preparation is everything. Ba -da -da -da. Ba -da -da -da. What if we could plan it out? Cabo for a week. Pass for a day, wee oui, wee. Oui. You can come and be my babe, you can see. What a rule number two. Move for at least 60 minutes a day. Now it may seem obvious for me to say that. I'm doing a video on how to stay on track with your health on the road and talking about movement. The reality is that movement can take many different forms. It can be a workout in the most beautiful gym in the world like this, or it can be walking around for 60 minutes, exploring the new city that you've just traveled to. It could be getting your steps in in the airport. It could be swimming in a new location. Whatever it might be, move your body because movement is a catalyst for feeling good in all of the other areas of your life on these trips. You use more of the food that you eat as fuel. You sleep better the entire time that you're there. You have more energy the entire time that you're there. The movement creates ripple effects, creates a chain reaction of positive things for the travel so that you feel great, you look great, and you're gonna perform at your best. So that's rule number two. Move for 60 minutes a day. Rule number three, prioritize protein at every single meal. One of the biggest risks when you're traveling and trying to stay on track with your health is that you come in way, way below your protein targets that you would normally hit when you're at home. Prioritizing protein as the main thing at every single meal prevents that from happening. You're still trying to get one gram of protein per pound of body weight if you're someone that's actively training. 0.8 maybe on the low end, 1.2 on the high end uh, is kind of the range that I would shoot for. But that means that at every single meal when you're traveling, you really want to prioritize protein as the main source of calories at the meal. If you do that, you're also not going to be overeating on all of the other macronutrients because the protein is going to fill you up. So at every single meal, make sure you're prioritizing protein. 0.8 grams to 1.2 grams per pound of body weight is a good rule of thumb. I try to come in at around one, right in the middle of that. That's rule number three. When I said prioritize protein, this is what I meant. Six egg omelet, avocado, and a plate of bacon. That's prioritizing protein. Rule number four. Limit carbs to around your workouts. When you're traveling, the biggest risk to staying on track with your goals is overeating on carbs, especially if you're not training as hard as you normally are. If you limit carbs to around your workouts right before and right after, you mitigate that risk quite a bit. Starchy carbs especially, I try to only have after a lift. So if I was just doing a run today, I would stick to my carb sources being things more like fruit. But if I'm doing a lift like I am right now, I'm gonna go hit some carbs after this. 
And honestly, if I'm planning to have a big carb heavy meal, like the fish tacos that I'm about to go smash after this, I would try to plan a lift for right before it so that I can put those carbs to good use. That's rule number four, limit your carbs to around your workouts. It'll mitigate the risk of overeating carbs when you're not training as hard, and you'll generally feel better, more energetic throughout the entire time that you're on the road. It is time to go eat about 10,000, eight, eight, eight to 10,000 fish tacos. Boom. Rule number five, drink a lot of water. When you're traveling, it's really easy to get dehydrated. If you're like me, even when you're not traveling, you probably aren't drinking enough water. When you're on the road, when you're in the air, when you're staying in hotels, you need to make sure that you're drinking a ton of fluids. Continue to hydrate throughout the day. Good rule of thumb is to just have a cup of water at all times between activities. If you just drink a cup of water between any changes in activities, you'll make sure that you're staying hydrated during the course of the day and you avoid the negative effects of dehydration. You're gonna sleep better, you're gonna have more energy, your body's gonna work better, and you're gonna stay on track with all of your goals. That's rule number five, drink a lot of water. Rule number six, limit the alcohol. This is a Topa Chico and lime sitting here at the pool bar. I'm not drinking much these days. You don't need to be like me. You don't need to not drink when you're traveling, but try to limit it. Try to limit having too many drinks and try to limit having a bunch of drinks close to bedtime where you're going to ruin your sleep, you're going to crater your experience for the next day, and you're going to really harm how your body's performing when you're on the road. If you limit the alcohol, one, two drinks, and really focus them around times where it's going to enhance the experience with people you love, you're going to benefit from that, hands down, full stop. So that's rule number six, limit the alcohol. That brings us to the end and the last rule, rule number seven. Every now and then, break one of these rules. Life's too short to have 100% compliance to all of these rules you set up for yourself. It's great to stay on track when you're traveling. It's great to stay healthy but aim for 95% compliance or 90% compliance. That's what I do because again, life's too short. So enjoy yourself, break one of these rules every now and then and have fun, especially when you're traveling with people you love, enjoy. Cheers everybody. There you have it, my seven rules for staying on track with my health when I'm traveling and on the road. If you enjoyed this, you're gonna love some of my other day in the life videos and vlogs, which you can find here on the screen. I'm still bad at this pointing thing here on the screen. And until next time, as always, stay curious, friends.